Today, we're diving into the Zika virus, a tiny invisible enemy carried by mosquitoes. It's part of the flavivirus family, alongside dengue and yellow fever. Though Zika's been around for decades, it's only recently become a major global health concern. Understanding its origins helps us grasp why it's a threat today. Zika's story starts in 1947, in Uganda's Zika forest. Scientists, while studying yellow fever in monkeys, discovered this new virus. For decades, Zika was a minor curiosity, causing only mild illness in a few people across Africa and Asia. That changed in 2007, when a large outbreak hit Yap Island in the Pacific. Suddenly, Zika was on the move, infecting large populations. In 2013, French Polynesia saw an even bigger outbreak, and scientists noticed Zika could cause serious health problems. The real alarm sounded in 2015, when Zika exploded across the Americas, especially Brazil. Millions were infected, and the World Health Organization declared a global emergency. Zika's rapid spread showed how quickly diseases can travel in our interconnected world. What started as a footnote in virology became a global threat. Its history is a reminder. Vigilance is key. We must learn from the past to protect our future. How does Zika spread? The main culprit, Aedes mosquitoes, especially Aedes aegypti. These mosquitoes bite during the day and thrive in standing water around our homes. When they bite an infected person, they pick up the virus and pass it to others. That's the most common way Zika spreads, quickly and quietly. But mosquitoes aren't the only route. Zika can also be passed from a pregnant mother to her baby, causing serious risks. Sexual transmission is possible too, so protection is advised if a partner has traveled to a Zika area. Rarely, Zika spreads through blood transfusions. The virus's many transmission routes make it hard to control. That's why awareness and prevention are so important. Understanding how Zika moves helps us stop it. Protecting ourselves starts with knowing the risks. Let's break the chain of transmission together. Most people with Zika, about 80%, won't show symptoms. That makes it a silent threat, spreading unnoticed in communities. For those who do get sick, symptoms are usually mild fever, rash, joint pain, and red eyes. Because these signs mimic other illnesses, Zika often goes undiagnosed. Anyone in tropical or subtropical regions or travelers to these areas are at risk. But the greatest danger is to pregnant women. The virus can harm unborn babies. People with weakened immune systems may also face complications. Awareness is our best defense. Here's why Zika became a global emergency, its impact on pregnancy. If a pregnant woman is infected, Zika can pass to her fetus, causing congenital Zika syndrome. The most severe outcome is microcephaly, babies born with abnormally small heads and underdeveloped brains. This leads to lifelong challenges, developmental delays, seizures, and vision or hearing loss. Other birth defects include joint problems and eye damage, sometimes not visible at birth. The risk is highest if infection occurs in the first trimester. The emotional and financial toll is immense. Protecting pregnant women is the top priority. Preventing Zika during pregnancy is everyone's responsibility. The science is clear. Zika directly harms developing brains. We must act to protect the next generation. So, how do we fight Zika? Start by preventing mosquito bites. Wear long sleeves and pants and use repellents with DEET or picaridin. Eliminate standing water around your home. Mosquitoes breed in even tiny puddles. Check flower pots, tires and buckets weekly. Keep window and door screens in good repair. If you're pregnant, avoid travel to Zika risk areas. If travel is unavoidable, talk to your doctor and follow strict prevention steps. Partners should use condoms if there's a risk of sexual transmission. If you develop symptoms after visiting a Zika area, see a doctor for testing. Rest, stay hydrated, and take acetaminophen for fever or pain. Protect yourself from mosquito bites during illness to avoid spreading the virus. Breaking the transmission chain protects everyone. Together, we can stop Zika in its tracks.